The Warden has finally been added to Minecraft. He is the strongest, scariest, most powerful mob ever added to the game. And I'm going to take him on and defeat him in a hardcore world. Also guys, do you remember how I destroyed Happy Kids TV nursery rhymes in a race to 3 million subscribers? Well, they've only gone and stormed back and overtaken me, so please <laughs> subscribe and do not let me lose to a nursery rhymes channel. Now in order to defeat the warden, I'm gonna need some strong equipment. If something tells me I wouldn't pick axe, it doesn't really count as strong equipment. And even with stone tools, I will still be no match. So let's jump in a boat, sail the seven seas, and loot some shipwrecks. Look at that. They say that's iron. Now, now iron is going to be a little bit better. Not perfect, but certainly better. There's another shipwreck right below me with even more treasure. Look at that, a diamond. And a treasure map. Time to see what I can find. A ruined portal on the way with more iron and obsidian. If I quickly craft a pickaxe, I can quickly grab this block of gold. You never know, it could be useful. Just realised I can't read a map. I was going in completely completely the wrong direction. Here we have shipwreck number three with more iron and also some seriously needed food. I've got a suspicious stew. Please be kind to me. It was actually really good. I think it gave me some sort of... Did it give me the saturation one? It's perfect. And now to go and find this treasure. Here's one last shipwreck before we get there with more carrots and coal and another treasure map. <laughs> I hope it isn't the same one. And to be honest, I don't think I ever need to worry about iron ever again. Although something I should worry about is, um, yeah, th the sun is setting and also both the maps yeah, exactly the same. What a scam that is. Hello, sheep. Now, don't you guys worry yourself. This will not hurt a bit. At least it wouldn't hurt as much as if I was to uh, use my axe on them. Then I can craft a bed. Dye it blue because I, I don't know what else I'm going to do with this lapis for now. And get some sleep. The treasure is right around here. Let's dig down and hope for the best. There we go. And you know what? Decent loot. It's, I can only call it a decent loot. Actually, the water breathing is kind of nice. And TNT, we can use that. Yes, I will be blowing up the warden today. All in all, I think I've done enough plundering. I'm going to make a bunch of armor and some golden carrots. And the next thing that I want to do on my list is to track down a village. Could it be? Yes, this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what I'm looking for. And don't worry, guys, I didn't just come to steal your hay bales. I also came to support the economy. Although well, supporting the economy does involve chopping down their houses. But I'm sure you guys don't mind. Now, is all this gear enough for a player to defeat the warden? Well, no. A, a player would need much, much stronger stuff. But don't forget, guys, I'm no ordinary player, so I am going to go and find an ancient city right this minute. This is either going to go insanely well or end very, very badly. Before I go down to the caves permanently, I should get a bit more food. And I've found another village for me to ransack. And ransack I will. Apparently the end city is more like to spawn under the mountain biomes. But this cave just looks, it looks too good not to jump down into. Literally goes all the way down to the right level. And from here, I just need to start digging. I didn't expect the cave to come that quick. <laughs> I've also stumbled across a dungeon. The North Chapel would have been amazing. Other side, that's, that's kind of rare. I'll take it with me just in case. Now to continue exploring the caves. And also strip mine for cities. Well, mission to find a cave and a mine shaft was successful. As well as diamonds. Now it looks like there's quite a few diamonds here. I don't think I've ever seen this many together like this. How many? Oh, in fact, there's one more as well. Nine in one go. Without a doubt, I'm making a new pickaxe. And also some leggings. Another diamond right here. Don't mind if I do. Almost just died to a creeper. Even though these ancient cities are really, really rare, because they're absolutely massive, if you ever come near one, then chances are it'll be hard for you to miss it. And oh my goodness, this looks like one insane cave. You see, with massive caves like this, you'd think that I'd be able to run into an ancient city if there's one near. But it's just amazing. This is why the cave update was needed so badly. Minecraft is now so, so much better. It almost feels like it's a cave based on the nether... Oh dear, that's that's not good. Yeah, a mine shaft built on top of a lava lake is, is always going to end badly. I'll just ignore it and uh, keep exploring. Hang on a minute. Is that blue fire? Guys, we have found some diamonds. Okay, forget the diamonds. No, we have found an ancient city. Right, now I actually have to be careful. Because all around here are these skulk catalysts. Activate one of these and you could summon a warden. Can I just break this? Does this, does this work or is it unbreakable? I broke it. Okay, which means now I think I can just loot at, at my leisure on these two. So I guess that's the way around it. I will need to be careful not... See? <laughs> it's all right. You've got to crouch when you're near him. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, it, it, it's, it's doing something. Oh, no. It's gone very dark, guys. Let's just... Let's just keep moving. Thankfully, no warden. These places are absolutely terrifying. Let's get rid of this catalyst. <laughs> you are not summoning any wardens in today. Then I can check these chests. To be honest, the chests are absolutely rubbish at the moment. I bet the loot will get better in the future. This is still early days and they're adding new features all the time. And this is a great place to find diamonds. So we have ascertained one thing. This place is, is just a terrifying area. And skull catalyst must be avoided Unless I'm sneaking. It seems to be more as I get closer to this big portal. At least it looks like a portal and that's what everyone else thinks it's going to be. And I can definitely see why people would think that. It just, it just has the look of it, doesn't it? It also feels so much safer if I'm all the way up here. You know, if a warden spawns, I should be fine. Maybe not. Is that, 
Is that a catalyst? Okay, I think it's okay as long as there's not a sculpt block next to it. The size of these cities are amazing. Look how far they go in all the directions. The main reason I'm here is... Oh, that didn't work. But it's because I want to try and track down Swift Sneak. I tell you what, snowballs could also be useful. And you know what, healing... I don't need that. Need to drink healing would mean... Okay, you know, I was going to say I would be taking damage. I won't be taking damage. Please. Do not... Do, please do, don't, don't spawn him in. It seems we got away with it. Now then. What's going to happen if I try and... What, what do I do in this situation? Can I... Can I... Right, here we go. We're all right. Just don't activate those skulk sensors. See you later, skulk catalyst. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, let's just... Let's just check. Punch one. Nothing there. <gasps> he's there. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's climbing out of the ground, guys. Okay. I didn't want to... I didn't want to... You know, I have to worry about this, but I am facing the warden a little prematurely. Okay? Go over there. That's it. That's it. I'm over there. That's it. Get 200 IQ'd. By a snowball. Yeah, I'm in hardcore, so I, I mean, it's one wrong move and I am dead, guys. Okay, I've got to be... I've got to be so careful here. I'm just going to try and jump, jump. Stop sniffing me. That's it. Just keep going near that skull thing. That's all that matters. All right. You are a terrifying, terrifying thing. All right. We're just going to keep him busy. All right. You cannot smell me. The day he smells me is the day I'm dead. I, uh... <laughs> I, I smell that. Stop it! Stop looking at me when you do it. He's blind, so he uses smell. Right, I'm just going to run. Okay, I think he might be coming in. Right. That's all right. I've, I've, I've got through worse things than this. All right. He can't keep up with me. I am SP737. I think I've got away. <laughs> yeah, I would love to battle him and take him down, guys, but it's, it's way too soon and way too risky. I can I can hear him, and, and honestly, that is terrifying enough in itself. What on earth? I, I can just hear him. I don't know where he is. Did want to try and find Swift Sneak, but... Why can I hear him like he's right next to me? It's just terrifying. This has been a blast. I will be back. Back once I have much, much better armor. Look at this. Found a random amethyst geode. Don't mind if I do. You guys have no idea how nice it is to see the outside world. More food is definitely going to be a necessity. So I shall craft some smokers and get cooking. Diamond armor is also very important. And some might view this as a waste of a diamond. But right here, I'm going to craft a jukebox. And then other side can be playing... Which will just bring some peace and tranquility to a, uh, a stressful experience ahead. I'll be back soon, other side. I've got a pillager outpost to find. That way I'll be armed with totems which should be very, very useful against the warden. Although I will have to be careful, because to be honest, raids are also very, very dangerous in hardcore mode. But if you want to know whether I'd rather do a raid or face a warden, yeah, there's no contest. Plus I've got millions of arrows, I think they're going to come in handy. And after travelling thousands of blocks, finally, I have found it. Probably go to sleep before I go over there. The next task is to find a pillager captain. I'm afraid you, you don't quite fall into that criteria. But you, you good sir, are exactly what I'm looking for. Now to get out of here and track down a village. I do believe I've spotted one. Yeah, just over here in the distance. I'm sorry about this, poor villagers. But you're, you're about to be under attack. Yeah, I can see you're sweating. You, you, you look pretty nervous. There's no need to panic though. Nobody will be getting near this guy because he's getting blocked in. Yeah, don't try and go into that house, guys. This guy looks alright. I should probably help. It's actually super close to the outpost. And here are the enemies. Okay, well, I missed the first arrow. I won't miss the rest of them, don't worry. Oh my goodness, you take five arrows? This is going to be tougher than I thought. Why on earth are you two down there? You just couldn't come and attack me, could you, without coming down some random hole? Let's have another look. Okay, they're on this side. Ah, you're in here. You guys are complete and utter idiots. I don't think I can say the same thing about you guys, though. But it is mission successful at wave number two. Better very quickly craft a brand new axe. And I think this is a great time to do a bit of cooking. Right, while that's going, I'd better stop you guys. And I'd say it's the Ravager that I'm most worried about. Oh my goodness, that's why I'm most worried about it. I could do with some of that food right about. Oh, no. Alright, as long as I just keep running, I'll be safe. Excuse me, Gollum. Any chance? Yeah, go on. Get him. Get him, Gollum. Finish. Now, nah, that's what I'm talking about. No, we're in the middle of a raid, guys, but let's get some sleep. With that, I've got plenty of food. This guy is completely safe in here, and I can continue defending the village. You know, if I'm finding this raid kind of difficult, what chance do I stand against the warden? Well, when a Voker has been taken out... Oh, what? oh my... I'm on half... You know what? Just keep moving. Little MLG. I think I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. And you know what? Now I have the high ground, and nothing can stop me. There we go. Okay, the Ravage is defeated. Now have to get rid of all you guys. Be very careful with these ones. And finally, get rid of you. This is becoming quite stressful. The Golem is no longer with us. And he did take an Evoker. I knew there was a totem somewhere. Let's get that equipped. Could be very, very useful. This guy moves very fast and his Vexes. Definitely a worthy opponent. Okay, I think we've got him on the ropes, though. We shouldn't run so fast. Okay, we got him. Got another totem. And now we've got the truly difficult raid, which involves two Ravagers chasing me. Fortunately for them, I have a plan. Oh my goodness, Vex. Just you ruining everything, isn't it? 
Oh no, oh no, how did I not get, I, I totally use that. All right, I'm gonna build a wall. You can't get to me now. That's right, guys, I've got you right where I want you. Okay, apparently you can get to me. Right, okay, you can get to the other side. That is not good news at all. That completely caught me by surprise. I'm gonna attempt to make use of the shield here if I can. There we go, we whittled down his health took a bit by bit and got him. The other totem is right here. And just lost that one, but I was just going to inventory. I didn't know you were going to pop out of nowhere. Let's pick that up. Get rid of you guys. It's a Voker to give me another totem. Come on, we got this. But yeah, no vexes for you, mate. If I can just get in now. We did it. And the rest of these guys appear to be trapped down here. Not the first time that this has happened to some pillagers. The best thing is it's got me another totem. Aha! I found you. Looks like the tables have turned. You don't stand a chance. And a spawn. Hey, look at that. We completed the raid. Nothing good in there, sadly. Well, three totems. That's going to be useful against the warden. I don't know how you survived. You just walk around like nothing's happened. You've only survived because we would just not let you out. But now, you know, go and see the world, mate. It's a safe place. And you survived because you're stuck in the roof. You know, how did you manage that? Oh, no. I'm just... <laughs> I'm not going to make you survive a raid and then that's it. You get out of there. All I ask in return, guys, is that I can steal all your wheat. This guy's selling an infinity book. Now, that could be very, very useful. All the same, we're just going to steal a, a few books. I'm buying it. Now to craft an anvil and never worry about arrows ever again. I'm now going to make the long journey back to the ancient city where I will get closer and closer <laughs> to jumping off cliffs, apparently. No, what I was meaning was we're going to get closer and closer to the final preparations and then we can finally take on this warden properly and hopefully come out victorious. And on the way back, I'm going to detour through the deserts because I would have liked to find a desert pyramid. It looks like the mission was unsuccessful. We're now back to the jungle. And this cave just looks too cool not to go and have a look. Just look at the size of it. Let's have a good exploration. I need some new boots and the diamonds could be on the menu. Oh my goodness, did you get... I just can't catch a break, right? I need to... <laughs> That's another totem down. All of a sudden, I'm not sure if I want to go caving down here now. Maybe this minecart chest can persuade me. Do not ruin this for me, creep. Do not blow. Oh my goodness, there was another chest. Thank goodness the creeper did not blow that up. Give it to me right now. All right. This is becoming a very, very successful cave again. Even if the creepers are completely trying to ruin my life. They're just everywhere I go. Why is this the creeper cave? Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Okay, this one I actually got my shield out in time. I think I've run out of food. I think that might be the problem. Okay, we're gonna have to break out the melons. It's all going pear shaped. We've literally got one totem left for the warden now. If I lose that, I'll be in real trouble. What on earth is this? Is this another ancient city or is it just it's got a random bit of skull growth? And apparently these give you XP. What's the fastest way to break it? Gotta be a hoe, hasn't it? If in doubt, test out a hoe. Oh yes, it is one of those. Okay, we're gonna make it. Uh, let's make a gold one. Not much difference between stone and gold, but still pretty, pretty fast indeed. Basically, just these are free XP. Pretty, pretty fast, so I'm uh, reclaiming the stone one. Don't know what I'm going to need all this XP for, but I'm sure it'll be useful to have. There's like three creepers there. This time the shield is... Oh, the shield's broken. Hold on. Good job I noticed. Don't want to be without a shield down here. This diamond expedition is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Time to start digging. Yet another mine shaft. This one's on fire. And finally, I found a diamond down here, and it is just a diamond, sadly. Could have done with it being two or three of them. Found a mob spawner here. Let's mine that up. Anything of use? Not really. There's another diamond up there. Probably should have just jumped a brush lava like that, but it made it in one piece. I'm up to two diamonds. I just want two more. And it looks like I have found the two that I need. Now to get out of this place. I know I'm getting close when the other side music starts to to play. There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Just something comforting about this. <laughs> Not really uh, a good foreshadow of what's to come. Now, before I can go down, I'm going to craft myself some boots. And I now need to go out in search of better food. The melon slices are okay, but they just don't last like other foods do. Scaled this mountain, and I'm now on a meadow. It's just so cool to have a high up one. It's full of donkeys and sheep. Quite literally, that is that is all that is spawning up here. Where are the cows and the pigs? Aha, that's where the cows are. Look at this. At the bottom, we've got loads of pigs as well. Is this evil? Well, kind of. But is it necessary? Yeah, extremely necessary. Well, I am about to go after a blind guy that lives in a cave, so I, you know what? I, I guess I am kind of evil. <laughs> it's also kind of unnecessary. Although that's never stopped me before, and it won't stop me today. Now then, I could improve my armor with some sort of upgrades. At this point, I, I can't be bothered. I think I've prepared pretty well. I just want to go after this guy. I don't want to mess about anymore. Shields are kind of useless against him. I've got a notch apple. I've forgotten one thing, guys. This is... I can't believe I forgot this. Snow. I've forgotten to get the snow. And apparently there's not a single flake of it anywhere in the area. So once again, I'm going to have to sail the seven seas, find some mountains that have snow on them, and then get lots and lots of snowballs. I reckon all of that should probably be enough. And they get to do the very fun thing of boating on down and sailing back home. And now I don't see what else I could possibly need. I am just going to cook 
this food in... Okay, we have no space, apparently. If you, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of filled up on, uh, on snowballs, haven't I? A couple of golden apples could be useful. I've got 16 gold. But it's time to dismantle this tree. There's apple number one, and also apple number two. Then I can craft both of them, and also craft an axe. And I don't think I could be more ready, to be honest with you. I'll have one last look at the sunshine. It's time to go back and face the warden. Even just walking down all these stairs feels like a scary experience. And there it is below me, the ancient city. It would be sad if this is the way I died, but I'm, I'm just going to jump off an emoji. Now, I do just want to loot this chest. I'm going to get rid of this particular skull catalyst. It's actually called a skull shrieker. I think this is a skull catalyst. But anyway, uh, let's just see what's in here. Nothing of use. It's such an eerie and terrifying place. I suppose it's time that we uh, we summon this guy in. Okay, this, this is not good at all. I really want to get a book that's going to give me speed sneak, but I don't think it's down here. I think it's called Swift Sneak as well. Is, is he coming? No sign of him. Another one's going off. I don't see where this one is. Can, okay. I hear him. Okay, he's down there. <laughs> I have the high ground. Now, I do believe... Yeah, look at that. We can lure him to places with the snowball. Why are you walking to me? I'm, I'm throwing snow over there, mate. He was sending him that way, no problem. Does it make a noise if I eat? Oh, it does. Okay, that does, that does not look like a good sign. I hit him with the arrows, is that? I mean, I could just do this. Can he get up here? I, oh, 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 I can't see a thing. Oh my goodness, he's right next to me. I didn't even realize. I'm just gonna run in. He's locked onto me. Oh my, oh my goodness. What is going on? Okay, just keep moving, SP. Just keep moving, keep moving. That's it. Just go up. I can't go up any further. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely terrified. I'm just going to keep moving. Just going to keep moving. I've fallen down a hole. Oh my god. He's behind me. <laughs> right. But this is this is absolutely terrifying. I think I might have got away. I did manage to escape. I'm trying to lure him away, but he, he just doesn't seem to care anymore. Can I use these creepers? Yes, creepers. Blow him up. Yeah, oh no, he's up there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was a bad idea. He is now chasing me. Okay, I've lost that deep. No, I've got the deep dark effect again. Okay, I've used up my only totem. Okay, I've got to pop a notch apple ASAP, but he is right behind me, guys. This is, oh my, why did I think this was a good idea? Can I block him off? Okay, I think I might have lost him. Okay, so this is notch apple. Oh my goodness, right. We're just going to pull a shield out. I have nothing else to use. Okay, that was terrible. I thought the creepers were a good idea. I couldn't have been more wrong. I can see if I can find him. I can hear him. I think he's up there somewhere. Oh my goodness, there he is. He is super angry at me. Just leave me alone. You know what? I'm gonna go. Hey, he's just dodging me arrows like it's nothing. I'll make you angry. Hey, you look like you're trapped now. That's right. That's right. Oh, not so tough now, are you? I did have him right where I wanted him, but he seems to have disappeared off into that cave and I can't see where he's gone down there. Oh, there he is. Can I hit him still? Okay. He did kind of wander off. Okay, now he's coming towards me. I I think though, yeah, there is a way he can, he can get up there. I've got to be so careful of that. Get some hits. Is he coming around? He's coming around. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. Yes. Aha, what are you going to do now? I'm going to keep raining down arrows on him as much as I can. But it just does not do anywhere near as much damage as an axe. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get in close and personal with him. No matter what I do, he will not be distracted from me. He, he wants me. <laughs> he will not leave me alone. I'm going to pop another golden apple. And then I'm going to jump down, use my shield, hit him. Okay, that was good. That was a good move. I think I've just got to try and keep using my shield on him, maybe. But I'm in a dead end here. Okay, I've got to be very careful. There we go. Got another hit. I can't see a thing. All right, this better not be a dead end. If this is a dead end, I'm actually dead. Okay, there's just creepers. Creepers, blow him up. Okay, that might be useful. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know where he is, but I think he's still behind me. <laughs> I can hear him, but I can see him. There he is. Okay, can he get up here? I think he can if he goes around that way. I've got Oh, I'll call him, something's hitting him. I said, you guys, keep hitting him, keep going, that's it, it's brilliant. Okay, he's made it through. I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm actually so terrified. I've had my last golden apple. I'm jumping up here. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, he's there, right? You, you're stuck, right? No, he's not stuck. He's uh, got a way up. Okay, he can get anywhere, can this guy? I really hope I don't get, <gasps> I don't get stuck on those. Okay, okay. When the darkness comes, it's so hard to see where you're going. He must be right behind me. Why did I, of all people, think that I could defeat the warden in hardcore mode with this armor? I think I'm kind of safe. I'm just going to rain down arrows. I hope that I am, I've got enough before my bow breaks. Because this guy has nearly twice as much health as a wither. And I only have 150 durability left on the bow. Oh, we got him! It worked! Okay! We had enough! We had plenty. I'll need three more shots. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the warden defeated in hardcore mode. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying.